Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mari for you guys who are new. Today is gonna be a CD collection video, and if you guys don't know, I'm actually obsessed with CDs and music, but I'm pretty sure you guys already like know that about me. I've pretty much been collecting CDs since I was 10 years old, and I've just been collecting more and more CDs as the years go by. I don't really have a lot right now, but I'm definitely gonna get more and more and more, so hopefully it's gonna be really big. But let's just get on into it because it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna start off my collection in alphabetical order by the artist's name, so it's just way easier to, you know, you know, you know. Also, another thing is I'm gonna be seeing my favorite songs off of that album. I will have them right here and you guys can go listen to them and tell me what you guys think or yeah. So my very first album I have here is Austin Maho and The Secret. I actually saw him live during Taylor Swift's um, Red Tour. I don't listen to this album as much, but it's definitely like a good one. My favorite songs off this is probably mm, Yeah featuring Pitbull. Like who doesn't love that song? It's kind of like iconic. So yeah, this is The Secret by Austin Mahone. And all of a sudden we're at the H's. Obviously, you know the love of my literal life, Harry Styles. This is Fine Line. I have the book one, obviously, because we need those exclusive photos. And my favorite song off this album album is Sunflower Volume 6 and Fine Line. Honestly, it changes like every month, but right now it's Sunflower Volume 6 and Fine Line. I am seeing him on tour next year and I'm so excited. And I need his first album, HS1, really, really badly, but I don't have it yet. So I just have Fine Line. My next two are High School Musical 1 and High School Musical 2 with a soundtrack because what the actual heck. I'm pretty sure I got these at like Valley Village or a thrift store or something. I love the High School Musical series. Like if you guys ever need someone to watch them with you, literally call me. I literally will. My favorite ones off the first one are um, Get Your Head in the Game because that's like the song. And off this one is Fabulous because I love Sharpay. I love her. She's such a queen. And the next one that I have is For Your Eyes Only by J. Cole, who is my favorite rapper in the entire world, if you guys don't know. And also the back of it is a little girl with like braids and it honestly looks like me when I was like 10, so I kind of live for that. My favorite song off this album is either Deja Vu or For Your Eyes Only. I listen to For Your Eyes Only on a daily basis because it just makes me cry and I love to cry, so yeah. <laughs> next one is Jonas Brothers, A Little Bit Longer, and this is a very very first album I think they have. I don't know, maybe second album. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not a Jonas Brothers fan. Don't come at me. But my favorite ones off this is A Little Bit Longer and Love Bug because Love Bug is, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I got this at a thrift store as well and I was like, I need this. I really need this. Honestly, the one thing I regret from last year is not seeing them in concert when they were in my city, but I will be seeing them eventually. I'm manifesting that right now. I'm going to be seeing Jonas Brothers in the next year or two if they go on tour again. I'm really hoping so. This is my little crackhead energy of Justin Bieber albums because we love Justin Bieber with all my literal heart. And the first one is My Roll 2.0, which is the very first CD I ever bought with my own money or this is the very first CD I bought with my own money. Not the very first seat I ever had. Justin Bieber, My World 2.0. Love this. It comes with a little poster, I remember. And my favorite songs off this one is You Smile or Runaway Love, Baby, I don't know, Somebody You Love. Honestly, this whole entire album is a no skip album. This just like this here just reminds me of like my childhood and me just like obsessing over Justin Bieber for like ever. And honestly, I still do. So I'm seeing him next year and I'm so excited. Then I have this one, Never Say Never, the remixes. We love a good Kanye West remix, don't we? Runaway Love or Overboard featuring Miley Cyrus or Never Say Never with Jaden Smith. Are you kidding? I love Jaden Smith and I'm so, so happy that he's opening up for Justin next year. I hope he still is. I really do. Justin and Kaylani. I mean, Jaden and Kaylani, I'm so ready for that. And then Under the Mistletoe, which is my favorite Christmas album of all time. Duh. Like, is that even a question? My favorite songs off this one is probably Christmas Love and Mistletoe, obviously. I just love this song. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> that literally just broke. But this one is a deluxe and has like a little like video thing that I need to watch at Christmas time. I always forget to watch it. It's like, it used to be like a literal reunion thing for me to watch every year, but I haven't watched it in a hot minute. And the next one is Believe. This isn't the deluxe version, which I'm really sad about. I really wanted the songs. I wanted Maria, I really did. And my favorite ones off this are Die In Your Arms and Right Here featuring Drake because that song will be my all time favorite song for so long. Next off we have Purpose. But everyone says it's his best album. I think it is. He was going through the motions. It came up with this masterpiece. And I was like, go off, Justin. It is so cute. I love a good white CD with the cursive words of purpose. My favorite songs off this one are probably Mark My Words 
and get used to it even sorry like sorry is so basic but i love it like i just love it it's such a bob and then we have changes i have two because i got them with my concert tickets this one is for my friend amber who i'm going to the concert with so she needs to come collect this or i'm gonna go visit her i don't know we'll figure it out <laughs> my favorite song wait it's like upside down. Love that. I hear songs off this is Second Emotion and Confirmation. We love a good r and Bieber. I need more r and Bieber. And yeah, so I pretty much have every single Justin album except for Journals and the very first like My World, like the EP type with like One Time and One Was Only Girl. I really need those, so hopefully I have to get those in the next couple months you know and the next album we have is miss lana del rey she's one of my top artists ever i have never been to her concert but i listen to her music every single day and i'm not even exaggerating like every single day i listen to lana del rey this is born to die my favorite songs off this one is probably die mountain dew or radio or carmen i think this album is just everything and more and i feel like her albums get better and better as they go on but my favorite lana del rey song ever is still florida kilos and don't forget it then this one i got at a thrift store also the miss education of miss lauren hill oh my gosh i literally would do anything to meet her she's just such a queen lauren hill is the blueprint my favorite songs off this one is probably to zion or x factor because they're just so good all right guys here we go crackhead energy at its finest this is the only artist that i have every single cd of and you already know my boys my boys one direction of course <laughs> i like i can't i just can't the music is better and better to listen to them every single day the first of all i'm gonna start off with up all night which is their very first album <sighs> what a good beginning we love a good one direction album my favorite songs off this one is probably i want and stole my heart i will never get sick and tired of those songs ever like ever i just love one direction so much wow i don't even have any words i can't even describe it then we have take me home and i really want the yearbook version of this one so badly because it has um what's that called and uh, no what's the song called still the one it has still the one but off of this one it's probably just come on come on and heart attack and little things but niles verse specifically <laughs> i was so obsessed with this guys oh my gosh i literally forgot to tell you guys okay the telephone booth here was reason i wanted to go to london just to see one just because one direction did a photo shoot in front of them and you guys want to see my literal cd holder look at this guys such crackhead energy it's literally a telephone booth. I can't hold it up because it's gonna break. It swings open and that's where all the CDs are stored and it's literally because of One Direction. I am such a crackhead for them. I would do anything for them. I love them more than life itself, I think. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Then we have Minute Memories and obviously the, is it called the yearbook version? Just the, but oh, the ultimate edition, obviously. And it just has like little photos of the boys and fans. And it's just such a cute little vibe. My favorite songs off of this album are probably Right Now, Diana, Don't Forget Where You Belong. I love this. 2013 was definitely my favorite year for One Direction. I think this is my favorite One Direction album out there. Because Harry and Nile were at their prime, I think. They still look really good now, but back then they were like 1920 and I'm now 19. And I'm like, wow, I see it. If guys look like that where I live, oh my goodness, I would act out. Up. then the next one here we have four which is a lovely album but also the last album zane was a part of oh just a moment of silence for zane okay that's been a moment obviously the ultimate edition we love a good blue aesthetic here this one's definitely cuter this is when harry started growing his hair out oh my goodness i actually can't look at him oh, what a child here it ones off this one are this is so hard because they don't even have the freaking song list so i'm like struggling but off the top of my head ready to run change your ticket yeah those are the ones <laughs> and the very last one made in the am this one was so good this is one i was at my prime in life and this came out and i was the happiest i think there's no zane but they did a really good job just the four of them applaud all of them honestly they did so good obviously i have the deluxe edition again and this one is so cute this one actually has lyrics too so you can like a little do a little sing along to it <laughs> my favorite songs off this one are never enough olivia i want to write you a song and walking in the wind and especially Harry's verse. <laughs> the bridge, Harry's verse, the bridge, yeah. And, oh, wow. 
I miss them. I honestly don't know if they're gonna have another album. I really don't think they will, but they need to. They just have to. Like, you can't just do that to us. Their hiatus, it's a little like five years. Like, I need to get onto it. Chop, chop. I've been waiting. Okay, I'm gonna start talking about them before everyone gets annoyed with me. So, the next one is Miss Riri. I only have one Rihanna album, which is really weird because she's like my inspiration in like life itself. This is Good Girl Gone Bad Reloaded. My favorite ones off of this one is Disturbia, Disturbia, and Disturbia because that is like one of my favorite Rihanna songs ever. And I'm pretty sure you open it as a little poster, but look at her in yellow. Can you see this, guys? I'm not sure if you can, but Rihanna in yellow was something different. Next, we have my other fave. Mr. Sean Mendez. I have all three albums and I'll start with the first one which is Sean Mendez handwritten revisited which is just a little extra song. My favorite songs off of this one is probably Air featuring Astrid S. Memories running low, act like you love me. All the OGs if you know you know. We love Sean Mendez. Wow. This just bring back so many memories of like grade A, grade 9 Maya. Such a good album. We'll forever love it. We'll always go back and revisit it. Revisited, you know. <laughs> Do you get my joke? I'm not sure if you do. And then we have Illuminate. Oh, love a good Illuminate. I've seen him on every single tour. Except for his very first one, when he was like just starting out. But I saw him on the Shawn Mendes tour, then the Illuminate tour, then the other tour, which I went to Toronto to see too, because I'm such a crackhead for Shawn Mendes as well. <laughs> on this one, it's probably No Promises and Honest are my favorites. And Three Empty Words, because that song came out on my birthday, so it's like my birthday song. <laughs> love it. But yeah, I just loved Illuminate. I'm done. <laughs> I need to stop talking about albums for so long. And then we have Shawn Mendes, Shawn Mendes, which is just Shawn Mendes. Oh my gosh, this one's sideways. I didn't even notice that. It's like the words are sideways. Okay, how do you open this? I just love the whole floral aesthetic for this and how the CD's like pink. Like that's so cute. I just love it. Honestly, have I even looked at what's inside of this? Give me a second, guys. Oh, Lyric. Baby. So cute. I hear it's songs off of this one are probably Like To Be, which in Julia Michaels, Why, and Perfectly Wrong because, wow, this song is emotional. But yeah, we love a good Shawn Mendes. Can't wait for new music. Love him forever. Mwah. And then we have Sister Spice Girls. I don't even know where I got this from. I think my dad got this for me. But I was obsessed with Mel B at one point in my life. So the third song off of this one is going to be the most basic local song ever. Wannabe. But like, how can you not like that song? I love Naked and Something Kind of Funny also. But like, Wannabe... Just iconic. Everyone needs to know. I'm pretty sure everyone does know it at this point. So it's just so amazing. And it, wow. And last but not actually, no, not last, second last. But another crackhead central for me is Miss Taylor Swift. I literally had all the albums. And then in the last year, she's released two more albums. So I definitely need to get those. But I'm going to start with Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. I honestly can't even believe that's her. Like that was so long ago. I got this in Saskatchewan at like an antique store. <laughs> Like two years ago, I think. Here at songs off of this one are Picture to Burn, Cold as You, and Mary Song because Mary Song. Oh my, my, my. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. And then we have Fearless, which was just absolutely iconic. Country vibes, you know? And here at songs off this one are Love Story because I sing that song at least once every other day. White Horse and You Belong With Me. And. <laughs> Fearless, I don't know. They're all just so good. I feel like if someone asks you if your artist is and you're like Taylor Swift, they're gonna be like, oh, like, of course it is, whatever. But like, honestly, she is like probably one of the best songwriters of our time, like of my time at least because I'm like 19. But she's just so good, amazing. And then I have the Taylor Swift Holiday Collection, which is just amazing. And this goes along with Under the Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. Like these songs are on repeat all of Christmas. And I heard a song off this one is her version of Santa Baby, not virgin, but just her singing Santa Baby. Oh, so good. I just love it. Her little like twang and her voice because the country, you know. And then we have Speak Now, which is the very first album that I ever got in my entire life. I feel like this album was just like the pinnacle of my existence like <laughs> that makes no sense but the second i heard mine and the rest of the album i was like love like i fell in love with her i fell in love with all music songwriting everything like that she really is the person that started my whole music obsession and just the whole industry and everything for me i just love her so much but just like her in the dress and just looking back i just thought she was everything like she's actually gorgeous i actually can't my favorite songs off of this one is probably 
Dear John, Enchanted, Better Than Revenge, Haunted, Last Kiss. This album has no skips, as you can tell. I named like half the album. It's so good. And then we have 1989, and I was obsessed with Polaroids and this album, and just her whole aesthetic here was so cute. I thought she was everything and more. Ugh. And this was the deluxe edition too, so it came with all the Polaroids that I had on my wall for like five years. I don't even know. My favorite songs off of this one are definitely Blank Space, I Wish You Would, How to Get the Girl and new romantics because it's so good this was also her very first pop like fully pop album and i feel like she just killed the game i just feel like she killed it and then we have miss reputation this did not get enough credit as it should have like she went from country to pop to this now she's like alternative with like folk folk folklore folklore yeah, I don't know how you say it. She's been through it all, and just every performance she did from a Reputation song, like off the album, was just so good. Like, cause people were hating on her and stuff like that, and now she's like, you know what, I am the baddest. Like, try again. Favorite songs from this one is probably um, Delicate, um, New Year's Day, and Getaway Car. Then, last but not least, we have Meet the Vamps by The Vamps. If you guys don't know who they are, honestly, check them out. They're really like underrated, but they're super, super good. I was gonna go to their concert. Like, last year but that was my no two years ago oh my gosh two years ago but that was when my grad trip was so i didn't want to miss that because i was graduating and like you don't want to miss grad events and the main singer bradley simpson we have the same birthday it's so cute i love him he's so adorable my favorite songs off of this one are girls on tv move my way and smile they're just super super good and i love them I love them to bits. Anyways, so that was my whole entire CD collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to get more CDs in the next while so I can make a part two, hopefully next year. Maybe I'll make one once a year. Maybe it'll be like a little reunion thing. We'll never know. You never know until you know. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram, underscore Maya Joelle. Have a good rest of your day and or whenever you guys are watching this. I love you guys all and I see you guys in my next video. Bye.